What's Maybe? coming up? Almost, yeah. Uh, hold on. Something floating in the water coming right up. Interesting. Oh, wow. Well. Rat tail? Oh, yeah, rat it's probably foraging, looking for things in the sediment. It's a rat tail, grenadier. Beauty. Yeah. Let's hold that for a few seconds if we can. This, this shows you pretty much exactly how they feed. They have these barbels and they're probing the sediment substrate with, looking for and feeling for vibrations of animals that might be present in the sediment. Their eyesight, although their eyes are large, they're probably not very useful at the step, but they're just station keeping while they move with the current. They can open their mouths and ingest in sediment and whatever uh, animals in the substrate pretty quickly, almost like a vacuum. Yeah, just conserving energy floating around. Yeah. Not, it's hardly moving. It's on its own. Okay. All right. Good. Great shot. Excellent. Good luck foraging. Yep. It's right at the bottom of the screen. Oh, there it is. There it goes. What is it? Tiny, tiny parapagurid right with two zoanthids. Backpack? One, one colony. <laughs> yeah. Backpack. I, I'm... Oop. It's so tiny. That backpack's <laughs> too big. Where everything is so... That is a really cool looking little creature. Where everything is so slow down here, I really appreciate a little bit of motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they move post haste. Yeah. <laughs> they got places to be. They gotta go to school. Yeah, name the class. We still need an acrobatic snail. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, yeah, Gaza species. They snails. are so fast. One one watch saw one the other day. Oh, really? really? Yeah. They're definitely like a delight, right? They're so funny. All right. As soon as we talked about them go. moving, they stopped. I know. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a large sea star on the stalk coming up uh, just uh, straight yeah. ahead. That's pretty. Probably predating upon something. It looks like a celestial sun star. This one's bigger than the one we saw last night. This was the one that was eating the Versinjid on our, one of our earlier dives. Mm -hmm. So it's probably not eating this sponge. The sponge looks thoroughly dead, but it could be grazing on some of the other epifauna that are growing and living on the outside of the sponge. These are not planktivorous, so it's not using its tube feed to feed into the water column, but it's probably climbing up and feeding on something on this stalk, but still in a very nice shot of it. Yeah. All right. Science is okay. As long as uh, we have captures, we can go on. Yep. Do it. I mean, don't no, do don't it. Do it. Uh, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> that coral just looks so dainty underneath it. Like, I know. How does it hold it up? Um, I'm slipping. Uh, I'm okay. slipping. Well, here we go. Here we go. I don't know that I want to witness this moment. <laughs> ah! Gotcha. It's like it's dramatic. I had another arm to catch me. Oh, swinging like a monkey. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is pretty cool. That's cool. They usually so don't you do see, that. though, it did lose one of its oh. arms, which it will regenerate. <laughs> Oh, it went down wow, it went, it went a lot further than I thought it was going to. I feel like I have just a series of still caps showing the story of <laughs> it Yeah, falling. it's like <laughs> brittle star gymnastics. <laughs> you can make a pretty cool flip book. <laughs>